Greetings to the over 7,500 desert medic soldiers and civilians, both in the United States and deployed across the globe. For those who I haven't had the privilege of meeting, I am Major General Joe Robinson, the Commanding General of the 3rd Medical Command Deployment Support. I would like to take a moment to discuss the mission of the 3rd Medical Command, my vision, and the way forward. Everything starts with people and readiness. As an organization, we have some of the most professional and skilled personnel in the entire force. The 3rd Medical Command currently has over 50 units designated as Resi Force. Whether your unit is Ready Force or not, I echo the words of Lieutenant General Lucky when he said, readiness begins with the individual soldier, so we are all in Ready Force. Readiness is about unleashing the power of the team by empowering leaders to be ready to mobilize, deploy, fight, and win as an integrated part of the Army team anywhere we are needed in the world. At any time, the 3rd Medical Command has hundreds of soldiers and multiple units deployed. We have the capability to get soldiers out the door to deploy and make a truly amazing, life-saving procedure look routine. We need to do the same with personal readiness by making our focused deployment readiness a routine. We all know that readiness is an individual responsibility, and I expect first-line leaders and commanders at every level to make that happen. I see the role of the 3rd Medical Command to train for deployment and deploy. It's that simple and it's that complicated. A significant mission for the 3rd Medical Command is our partnership with the United States Army Central Command, or ARSEN. For over 25 years, the 3rd Medical Command has maintained a partnership with ARSEN as their medical command. Currently, the 3rd is deploying, providing health service support and force health protection to Department of Defense personnel and coalition forces in 11 countries. The 3rd Medical Command also provides oversight for the capabilities of 13 medical units spread in 10 locations. As the forward command element, the 3rd Medical Command is committed to ensuring soldiers receive the best health care possible on the battlefield. We are very good at what we do and the entire military knows it. In addition to deployment, support, the 3rd Medical Command plays a critical role in joint MedReady missions in Africa or IRT missions here in underserved communities of the United States. All of these missions are important. They keep us trained, motivated, and ready for any mission at any time. As we look forward, I'd like to take a moment to look back at where we've been. Starting with its inception in 1908, the Army Reserve traces its beginning to the creation of the Medical Reserve Corps. The idea behind the Medical Reserve Corps was to create a pool of trained medical officers who could be called to active duty in time of war. Much has changed since then, but our commitment to provide trained medical professionals has remained as critical as ever. Today, through leveraging the huge capacity and existing technological capability of medical professionals in the nation's private sector, the Army Reserve and the 3rd Medical Command is bringing depth in critical technology to the Army. As citizen soldiers, the Army Reserve delivers the depth of civilian medical expertise from state-of-the-art facilities across the United States. Our medical professionals are the best in their fields. As a result, there's no one better to promote Army Reserve medicine than ourselves, and we are the best recruiters. Yes, the Army dedicates resources to recruiting, but because this is such a critical need, I challenge each of you, no matter if you're a civilian EMT, nurse, dentist, veterinarian, or physician, to promote Army Reserve medicine. There's a saying, specialists recruit specialists and officers recruit officers. I believe we can apply that same principle to our own formation. No matter what changes or challenges come our way, I am confident that the men and women of the 3rd Medical Command will meet them head on and succeed because we are trained, ready, and we know that saving lives on the battlefield always matters. As I conclude, I want to thank you and your family for your service and being part of our team. We would not be where we are today without all of you. As we look forward to 2020, I want to wish every one of you a safe, joyous holiday season Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. It is truly an honor.